In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use DocHub to type onto a worksheet. If you have used Snapverter to create a PDF, it'll appear in your finished folder in Google Drive. And there's a couple of ways to open it with DocHub. If you click on the image of the worksheet, it'll give you this preview view of it. And here you can go to Open With and select DocHub. Inside of Google Drive, you can actually right click on that. I know that's the one I want to open. Go to Open With here and select DocHub. All right, here's my document that I want to type onto. Um, there are several tools up here that you might want to know how to use. Um, this is a pen tool, and this would actually allow you to do um, handwriting or drawing on a document. All right, so we'll make a little face there. Um, this is a highlighter tool and it does like all good highlighter tools. I'm going to draw a box over a word that I might like to highlight and then when I pick up my pointer tool again that highlight stays on my document. This tool right here allows the teacher to make comments so if I want to draw a comment in that'll open up a box for me to write a comment to a student in in DocHub. And the most important thing that you need to do is be able to type onto your worksheet. So you're going to choose this capital letter A, which uh, invites you to use text on your document. Click it. Go to the space where you want to type. Draw the box. And you can see that blinking cursor right there is really tiny because um, the font is super small. So I'm going to go up here and change my font size to something nice and large, like maybe 72. And now I am ready to type in my answer. Um, I would look under wet leaves. All right. And then I can scroll down. Here's a Venn diagram to fill in. And again, I can just continue to draw boxes with the text tool and type into each of those boxes. And go down to the last question, draw a box, and type my answer in. OK, so you have finished your worksheet and you are ready to turn it in. What do you do? You go up here to, I'm going to pick up the pointer tool again. This symbol right here, which is the download symbol, this is going to allow you to save your document directly to Google Drive. That's going to keep a copy of the worksheet in your Google Drive. And so that is a great option because from there, then you can share it with your teacher or you can um, turn you can uh, turn it into Google Classroom. And that's all there is to it. 